most of the students, those who are actually clearing RBI exam and also SEBI and NAVARD are coming from engineering background. So this is a very obvious question, but at the same time, the question itself is wrong. Why it is wrong? Because don't think you have to justify. Justification tab dena hota hai, jab koi allegation hota hai. But here, this is a question. You have to simply answer and the interviewer is looking for an intelligent answer from you. It's not about justifying or you have done something which is not useful for RBI. When you say you are coming from an engineering background, tell me what you have learned the most in engineering. What I understand is optimization. All engineering is based on finding out an optimal solution to the real world problem and that is what all economists do. So, dost, justification ki to baat hi nahi hai. You have to rather make it a point that why engineering degree is actually going to make you a very efficient and an effective central banker. Top economist, even Dr. Raghuram Rajan, is also an engineer, right? So, don't go on back foot on this question, which is a very obvious question. Rather, Try to play on your strength that why coming from engineering background is making you a most suitable candidate to work for RBI and frame your answer accordingly. The next question, how shall I prepare for the interview? And many of these questions I have summed up based on my experience with you people. Most of you start your preparation once the result comes and most of you start again studying the syllabus you have studied for phase 2. That's a mistake. First, please understand that you have already cleared the written exam. So, what more knowledge do you want? Don't go to your syllabus now. Rather, first understand your profile. Because half of the interview will be based on what you have studied, what is your qualification, what is your work experience, from where you come. You have not really prepared your profile. I am telling you, you feel you know about yourself. Maybe you know about yourself, but can you express that in 2 minutes, 3 minutes, sometime in 30 seconds? Prepare that well. Second part, related to the theoretical knowledge or technical knowledge, understand what is happening around us. Whether it is CAA, NRC, repo rate cut in last 8-9 months, slow down in the economy. An important event happening in the capital market, banking market, NBFC, financial inclusion, importance of technology you coming from the technology background in finance and banking system prepare your views on these and be ready to answer all this in 30 seconds one minute two minute at max so now this is the time to close your books and start seeing what is happening all around you and develop your conversational skills interview you shall practice you are then going to ace it what shall be the dress code this is also a very important question as one of my professors used to say, nobody sees what you eat, but everybody sees what you wear. So wearing a good dress is very, very important. And a good dress means a dress as per the occasion. Even if you are not normally wearing a formal dress, wear it for the interview. It is required. It is very much required for the occasion. Don't we dress up well for parties, for weddings or for other important functions? So this is much more important an occasion which can decide your career, your life. So dress properly. I have written a very formal dress code for boys and also for girls. The details of these are available on our website. I am giving the link in the description. Please read through that. It will help you. Shakshi is asking what weightage does a PhD degree has in the interview? When I went for my RBI interview, so that time I was about to complete my PhD, but I don't think I got any weightage out of that or they even asked me any question out of that, but they may ask something related to what kind of research work you are doing. RBI give weightage to higher education, but at the same time expectations from you will be much higher. So you have to be prepared. If you are doing research, you may be knowing statistics also very well. 
the difference between correlation, regression and what kind of analytical tools you are applying in your research. Be ready if these kind of questions are asked to you. So there will not be a direct weightage but there can be heavy questions on you. It may not be very technical but you have to be better in answering those questions than say somebody who is going from just a graduation degree. I have been preparing for UPSC. Shall I mention that or not? If I mention that, how do I answer the question whether I will quit RBI if I get selected in UPSC? So this is one very common question which many of you ask. First point, there is no need to hide that you have been preparing for UPSC guys. UPSC preparation gives you lot of knowledge that is really helpful. Nobody minds you preparing for UPSC and then coming to RBI. Nobody minds you coming from top colleges, IITs, I am then coming to RBI. The more knowledgeable you are, the more qualified you are, you are most welcomed in RBI. So there is no need to hide that. And to the question, what if you get selected in UPSC? So you can very well mention, I may choose some of the cadres like IAS, IPS, IFS, IRS and I may not go for the lower cadres because working with RBI, the central bank of the country, and when the importance of economy and finance is increasing in, in, any, in any country, so I may work with RBI if I am not getting this. And then more detailed answer depends on what is your particular profile. We can discuss during our mock interview. Send your biodata to us. I am giving the link in the description below where you can fill your information and reach out to us. You have any more questions? Please ask in the comments below. We will answer in the coming videos. Good luck.